we could get all the Democrats together from Illinois and have Congressman Jackson um, do what he did and the way he did it with the, you know the the emotion that was involved in it um, was uh, I thought great. Whatever differences the Speaker and I have had, or the differences that Senator President Jones and the Speaker have had, or the differences that that others have had between themselves as Democrats, in my view, they've always never been personal. And so I, I've always had uh, a high personal regard for, for Speaker Madigan, as I do with a lot of other people who sometimes disagree with the things that, that I'm for and the priorities that, that I'm pushing and the things we'd like to actually get done for people. So. Um, it was, you know, it's good to see him again. It's great to talk to him again. It's good to uh, have an opportunity to uh, to embrace him. Uh, whatever differences we generally have, they have more to do with, uh, I think, the means rather than the goal. So, I, I thought it was great, and uh, you know, I think all of us want to do what's right. I think there's some differences, obviously, on, in terms of the means, but I think all of us want to do what's right. This was a good day, and you know, let's see if we can build off it today, and let's hope this isn't just the altitude. Let's hope it actually extends in Illinois, and I have every reason to think it would. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't think it was Cory It was very genuine. And, and what was what, that moment? When I can tell you, my moment was well, yeah, totally by surprise. Although I did see it coming. What, what was? <laughs> <laughs> Once Jesse Jr. hugged Mayor Daly, started crying. I sent an email, and I said, "Man, he's gonna call me out." <laughs> and then I said, "But I ain't crying." <laughs> Look, whenever you hug a guy. You ought to be upbeat about it. <laughs>